Hello and welcome to the lecture. So in the last lecture we saw about creation of an interactive report through REST enabled SQL location and we are trying to populate it through the data which is from the other database as you can see this is an interactive report. So we know that even for the get request we can use this and fetch the data but adding to that we have also the other request as well with the post for insert and put for update and delete for the delete operations. So the interactive report doesn't support this one so I'm just making it to interactive grid to test that and we can see that if you can make the edit as the enabled one and you can do the other operations to this interactive grid and we need to make a primary key here the country ID being the primary key and I'm just making it here and now you can see the changes here in the page with the reflection as the interactive grid as you can see the countries are populated and you can see that you can interact it and change the data so let's add a row here for a test data to see whether we can add a new data to the other database so let me just you know make the country ID as thousand i know there's no thousand countries here so let me give some you know test country some kind of a random data and these are just not mandatory so we'll just leave it as it is we'll just fill only the mandatory one and let's save it and as you can see that changes are getting saved and we don't get any errors and for a confirmation let's refresh the page i know it's sorted uh, alphabetically and with the sequence so let's go to the last one which is about 250th in number and you can see that this the new data which we added got here and even you can modify it as well if you want and if you save it it will try to do the update operation as well and as well as the delete one so if you try to save it gets removed and now total is 249 and if I refresh it will be the same 249 so it got deleted so that's how we can confirm that all the three operations are supported in addition to get you can do anything because of the power of the region source in this processing so this has the target type as region source so the source is the rest enable SQL so not only do they get operations even the other operations where the request is on because Oracle Apex automatically recognize that request happening and it automatically knows that the data needs to be inserted when you are doing insert it will be sending a post request put for update and delete for delete and automatically those changes will be happening because of this region source with the rest enabled sql and those kind of sql statement will be written and will be processed in the server and this will be getting reflected in the ui so this is how it's happening so that's the power of region source you can do anything you want the rest enable sql it's very very a uh, huge powerful thing with having the oracle as rest enable you can do anything in the oracle apex